زادي واخيرا بلبنان واخيرا هذا البودكاست اللي عم نحكي فيه صار لنا سنين yeah. يعني I remember from before COVID even ومع كل شيء مرق في كل هالمنطقة زاد اليوم ناس كلها بتعرفك the musician talented كل التالنت اللي عندك كل هالامور اذا I will ask you to fill your strap وانت تعرفني على حالك على طريقتك انت كيف بتحب تعرف عن حالك يعني نحن بنعرفك الملحن الموسيقي المعروف آه يلي عنده هلا بنحكي فيهم كلهم تما نحرق كل الستبس بس انت كيف بتحب تعرف عن حالك اه ويل ثانك يو ثانك يو فور ذس انترو نايلا ام يعني ات ذا اند بس سمبل جاي ذات لايكس يو تو برينج بيبل توجذر through music, through art, to hopefully spread a little bit of love and a little bit of joy. That, that's it. When we talk about music, yeah. music, yeah. يمكن العالم sometimes هيك بتعتبر الموسيقى ما بتعرف يعني قديش في شغل ورا الموسيقى تا واحد بالاخر يطلع ويلحن ويطلع الموسيقى. بدي هيك اعرف منك قد ايه بتاخذ من الانسان يعني من المود منه اللي بيقدمه وبعدين شو الرساله يعني ذا مسج والميوزك يعني انا بعرف انه الواحد اذا كان زعلان بيسمع موسيقى اذا كان تعبان بيسمع موسيقى اذا كان مبسوط بيسمع موسيقى اذا كان مغروم بيسمع موسيقى اذا كان يمكن معصب بيسمع موسيقى اذا كان طالع عباله بس هيك ينبسط ويلا بيسمع موسيقى يعني الموسيقى موجوده بحياه الانسان بكل لحظة وتوحد يفوت الانسان ويعلقه بهالموسيقى اللي عم بيقدمها اتس سمثينج يعني كيف الواحد يعني هذا العالم كيف بده يفوت على عالم اي ثينك زادي ويخبرني اي بليف بالفن بشكل عام الصدق اذا انت بتكوني صادقه باللي تقدميه اف يو ار اونست وين يو بيرفورم وين يو بلاي ميوزك وين يو رايت ميوزك لانه ال بالفن ما بتقدري تمثلي على على صعيد انه ما بتقدري انه انه رح اعمل التكنيك رح ادق كل النوتات صح بس ما رح احط الفيلينج ما بيزبط بدك انت تعيشيها يعني وكثير شغله مهمه مثلا انه لما تعزفي بدك كيف زي بتعملي سكلبتشر سكلبتشر نحت للصوت للساوند تبع البيانو وهي الايموشنز كانك عم عم تنفخي بال بالانسترومنت عم تنفخي فيها من روحك وهي النقطه يعني حتى اذا بتفر بتشوفي مثلا كل الفنانين الكبار يعني اللي كثير مثلا بحترم زي مثلا فيروز او فرانك سيناترا او نات كين كول مثلا انه بيعطوه على الأد انه ما بتزيدي ولا بتنقصي الجمله بتنعطى صح بطريقه متقنه في التكنيك وكله بس في في من روحهم و بطريقة كتير بسيطة كمان هي نقطة كتير مهمة لأنه مثلا بالبيانو في عندك 88 مفتاح وإذا بتدقي منيح معناتها بتقدري تمام بتقدري تدقي سريع بس بتخيل اللي بيوصل للعالم واللي أنا بيوصل لي إلي لأن أنا على الصعيد الشخصي اللي هو السمبليستي بدك تنقي النوتات صح ما هي مو كم النوتة رح تدقي بدك تدقي النوتات الصح وكثير مرات الاغاني الابسط اللي هن الاصعب تدقيهم لانه بدك تعملي كنترول على حالك انك بس بدك ال... اجين تذكري فيروز مثلا التسجيلات العتيقه مثلا بس كم من هي كم من جمله صح ما في فلسفه على الزبط على الاد وخلص وبتقطفيها اي هذا الماجيك فاي ثينك هدول هدول الرموز اللي بتعلم منهم اللي حاولت وبضلني بحاول انه هذا اللي بدك تطمحي له لا بتزيدي ولا بتنقصي على الاد خلينا نرجع على الطفولة من انت وصغير وين خلقت؟ هل البيت كان في موسيقى او لا انت اللي اتجهت على الموسيقى؟ وين خلقت؟ كيف خلقت؟ كبرت؟ كيف تفصل زاد اللي اليوم هو؟ ايه ولدت بعمان بالاردن وبابا هي اركيتكت وهي ان ارتست هي لافز تو بينت دائما واتر كولرز وبينتينج هي ان فيري فاني جاي ام و ومزوي تو بي اي مين نوت بيكوز هيز ماي داد انا لايك سوبر سوبر مزوي سبانيش كله اركيتكتشر يعني دائما كنا نقول لازم نكون بساوث اوف فرانس صراحه او فرانكلي اور بيفرلي هيلز اي هذا محله الطبيعي يو نو ريلي فايه فعندك هي شغله بالاخص 
يعني الفن هي ذوق استاتيك فربينا بهذا الجو والميوزك دائما بالبيت كثير مثلا فرنش اولديز ا لوت اوف ازنافور بياف او مثلا لايك يو نو لايك سم الفيس سم فرانك سيناترا يو نو ا لوت اوف توم جونز انا ماما از بيج توم جونز فان رايت بيج انجل بيرد فان فكان في كثير ميلودي كثير ميلودي وطبعا فيروز ا لوت ا لوت اوف عربي فيروز ووديع الصافي هون فهذا اللي ربيت عليه اللي هو هي الميكس الفرانكوفون لانه كرمال اللي اهلي بحبوه و وذا ويسترن بوب والعربي اللبنيز وهي هي يعني هي كانت البيئه للميوزك و ا لوت اوف ارت ا لوت اوف ا لوت اوف ارت اللي اي بابا فهيك صارت الخلطه وبعدين كمان لما صرت اي ونت تو دو بيانو فور كارير اي مين ماي بيرنتس they were very supportive it's like all right مش انه يي كيف بدك تفوت على لا 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 ما لا لا ما دار از اوسم سايك لا 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 عادي خلص روح ما ما حبيت خلص غير لانه كان المفروض لانه اي لايك تو كمان تو درو و برسبكتيف يا اركيتكتشرال درونجز فاي واز سبوز تو دو اركيتكتشر يو نو بي وذ ماي داد سو سايك لا لا خلص دو ميوزك واي ريلي لاف ذا ايديا اي لاف ذا ايديا اوف لايك يو نو جيتنج اون ستيج اند اند كوميونيكيتنج بيكوز فروم ستيج يو سي اول اوف ذيس بيبل لايك you know smiling and having a good time and dreaming maybe and and maybe if you can share a little bit of magic a little bit of inspiration if you could that's what it's about you know بس تقدر تشي you know لانه انا الي رموز who inspired me who يعني قلت لي عنه او لا مثلا i mean in terms of like show business or music okay? like for example like Celine Dion is like a very big one for me I saw her once I was like uh, you know and I told her it's like I whispered in her ear I was like if I can give people what you gave me like this is it then I fulfilled my calling right because it's amazing you have these these symbols in your life that inspire you so much like for me Celine is all about you know great great performance but come on you got to be real and you know and it's family and it's and it's love right and it's great inspiration and I love that you know وين تعلمت الموسيقى بديت بالاردن at first but when came to America when when I moved when I was like لما رحت على الجامعه كل الجامعه كانت بامريكا كله بامريكا وبعدين I started touring I started yeah and when was your first performance I was 17 I was 17 something like that yeah بتذكرها probably a school thing but that my first public performance was at 18 it was like before I went to college we did a show and I was like oh this is super cool <laughs> it was cute. I mean, because I was promoting the show, so I'm also the promoter. That's another thing that I really love, the business part of stuff, you know, where, like, you have to stay rational. Because when you're art, you're driven by emotion, right? Yeah. That's what people respond to. Yeah. But if you're actually building a business and you're building a machine, you have to be rational. Because if you're, if you're rational, it works. You're logical, right? So, naqeed. I feel it's a tremendous blessing. I genuinely love both. So you kind of combine both and you know and we're growing it and growing it and growing it. So this is how and you combine both. And because you love best best for me. يعني انت الخلطه يلي بين البزنس وبين الارت والفن والموسيقى. Eh بس انا for me it's natural because I like it. You know it's a natural inclination. Uh, see what I mean? And a few people that ما بعرف مثلا ما له بهاي او ما له بهذيك. انا نعمه من ربنا. Honestly, I feel it's a tremendous blessing and yeah, I love both. Or the reason why I like, for example, Lebanon so much, they're very enterprising. Mizu'een, or they're really, they're enterprising. That, see what I mean? It's like, so, eh. أول هيك step مهم هل هو كان song you did a composition موسيقى معينة أو a performance. يعني هلأ بنحكي كمان عن Queen Elizabeth. شور يعني عم بعطيك هيك قصص تتذكرها شو اللي هيك علم؟ I think my grandmother my grandmother um, she loved playing the piano she played oud she sang she did it all I mean I guess you know there were ah come in your grandmother my grandma yeah 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 and she was always very supportive and Allah uh, she was you know she was she was great and also like a lot of, a lot of fun energy so I think I wrote her a song and I submit her what is somehow you know like shukran you know and hello shukran and yani it's like shukran and her name yeah yeah Tell yeah her, and that you. was like one of the first songs I wrote just because I like it, she had the piano in the, at her house from Mekinam Zuhur I was like oh wow look at this great piano so that was very special for me like in terms of composition and just that connection with my grandma about then you know with performances like I, I mean 
I think when you, whenever like you know, you play a show and you just you see the reaction of the people, especially when you have younger kids coming up and saying, "Oh my God!" Like you know, I want to play the piano like you, or like you know, it's like well, I mean that's that's it because for me, like that's what Celine, well Celine from like the you know the West, and for me from the Arabi, it's Majda. See what I mean? Like um, those are my that's my North, you know. So somehow that combination, and that's what. You know, I aspire to emulate. Richard Kliderman. Yes. The latest, uh, latest, let's say. You know. That was fun. I, I love Richard. You know, his style on the piano, come on. Like, uh, it's not too many notes. Oh, he plays from the heart. He's, he's, a, he's a soft, soft piano. So add them to Sawa. We played, we played a song. I mean, in uh, we filmed in Spain. It was a great experience. I learned so much from them. But then we played a show together in Bahrain a while back. Yeah, it's nice. You, know, you build these friendships, right? Oh, that song. I love that song. Like, I think like from the 80s. Olivier Toussaint, the manager of Richard, he wrote it. Come on, another like super funny guy, like really funny guy. Uh, project with uh, Richard. I told Olivier, well, listen, you wrote this song. He's like, what song? I was like, Prince of the He's like, I can't remember that. I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, arrangement this kind of style. Oh, it worked. It worked. I think melody is what people are attracted to, especially Hala, because with music, especially with like Spotify and playlists, and it's like, and you, we need more melody, I feel, and I think that's what I'm sticking to. You need good melody. هلا اللي بيقعد بيحكي معك هيك بشوف هالقد simple وإخذ كل شيء إنه very هيك simple cool way smiling happy. بس اليوم إذا أنت يعني ما بعرف إنه قديش مستوعب مثلاً الصحف العالمية اللي بتكتب عنك إنك نابغة موسيقية. هيدا إنه قديش مسؤولية لإلك إنه اليوم بمنطقتنا عندنا شخص الصحف العالمية يعني وهذا التاس يعني أنا وقت sometimes حتى بتسأل big fashion designer بيقول لك بننطر إنه الفحص هو كيف تعليق الصحف sure. شو رح يقولوا الصحفيين شو رح يعلقوا البرس الانترناشنال برس إنك تكون نابغة موسيقية uh, what does it mean لك شو بعد عندك مشاريع شو أنت oh, طموحك kind. you're too kind I think honestly well I really think the key yeah, what I can tell you is that I'm really happy. I'm genuinely happy, and really thankful. I'm really thankful. Then you realize, I mean, you know, life is good. Life is beautiful. It really is. And you know, I mean, what do I do for a living? I play the piano. I mean, there are a lot of <laughs> a lot of weird things in life that I could do, right? <laughs> Really. Yeah, but it's not all artists are happy. Sometimes you oh, have a lot yeah, no, of, uh, be of artists be photo be depression. It could be extremely uh, dangerous. Like, no, if, totally world. If you're addicted to the feelings, you know, is a well, that's the thing. That's why I like the whole. Uh, that's why I was really like Warren Buffett is my role hero, right, in life, because it's kind of like this, you know, old-fashioned philosophy where like do good, you know, be a good guy, contribute to the community, you know, don't be a cheater, you know, diamond win-win, always win-win. You know, argue the point of view that's opposing better than yours before having an opinion. Danny, it's all common sense. Yeah, that's the thing, common sense. But I think ma huayin mishkle with art is a bas bit felti wara al emotion. Ma tar kila al common sense. Ma fi common sense. But art ma fi. It's like you have all of these people that love you so much and love your music, and they're feeding off your emotion. When inti al masrah kaman, by the way, ma fi ma fi restriction on the feeling. خلاص, you give way to your. Hey, you give way to the feeling. Mafi, mafi, any mental monitors. But you cannot live your life, life like that because then you could actually get into drugs. You want to stay on the high. I mean, because you have all of these, it's insane. You have all of these hormones pumping through your system. It's not natural. Well, it's not. You know? <laughs> uh, but it's like having a role model for me, like Warren, right? And Charlie Munger, who passed away, his you know, his partner. And I'm not talking about the hajad. And it's like you know, hey, it's stunning. But the life, it's it's equanimity. You deal with the up and down. balance. And then you're you're happy. Then you're good. To be kind, 
بي هابي تو هيلب ذا كوميونتي كل هالامور اليوم قديش نحن بعاد عنا والناس بتحس انه اوكي بعد في ناس وكثير ناس they help each other بيساعدوا بعضهم uh, يعني كل هالامور اللي عم نحكي فيها يمكن الواحد بتجي انه اتس بيسك او لا بس قديش فيها عمق واليوم نحن عم نخسرها a lot of sadness yeah. we are surrounded by a lot of sadness للاسف yeah. uh, يمكن بنشوف uh, ناس عم بتموت عم نشوف حروب وكلنا يمكن كلنا نتمنى انه يكون في وين ما كان بالعالم سلام ما نشوف بقى ولا حدا عم يموت ولا يكون في مجاعة ولا محل ولا يكون في ولد جعان ولا يكون في ولد عم يموت ولا يكون في ولد عم يدفع ثمن ولا حدا يكون عم يدفع ولا ثمن انه اوكي هاي الحياة اللي واحد بيعيش عذاب او مشكل صحي او شيء it's from from right. life from God yeah, and sometimes just pure bad luck yeah so yeah. pure bad luck yeah. بس انه اليوم الواحد اللي عم نشوفه كل هالمقاس اللي عم نشوفه قديش yeah. كمان الموسيقى فيها مسج والانسان في مسج ثرو موسيقى ثرو جورناليزم ثرو ثرو ايفن فاشن في بالفاشن فاشن ديزاينر في يكون عنده مسج الفنان عنده مسج الصحافي عنده مسج الاركيتكت عنده مسج هو يمكن حتى هي كان بي انسبايرد ان ا واي قديش انه اليوم الحياه عم تصعب وقديش اليوم نحن بدنا نكون اقوى ونواجه ونعطي هيدي الهابنس نعطي هيدي الرسالة ونساعد بعضنا كل واحد بالكوميونتي بمحله بمكان شغله باللي عم بيعمله بالمشن تبعيته Absolutely isn't there that quote that art is the highest form of hope I mean that's it you know, all the fields you mentioned you know from journalism to music to architecture to fashion it's art it's the highest form of hope it's يعني ورا ما كل الحروب والمآسي تخلص وكل يا تشر بضل الفن هذا اللي بضل مشان هيك ما يعني زي you know Winston Churchill during the Second World War he didn't shut down the theaters it's like no this is the time the theaters should stay open you should continue because people need you know they need to change frequency they need to get entertained they need to then when you go to the theater you watch a show you watch your music you uplift your spirit hopefully you get inspired you need that out you need that exit every once in a while obviously um and that's why i i love art i i believe i believe in all of these things there because really we are one human family i mean one thing through covid one positive thing if we could find one positive thing about the whole covid thing is like for once at least in my life i've seen the whole world united against one invisible enemy kilayatna from the everybody and it felt and it was nice it's a, it was like it was like a It was like a weird alien movie where like the whole world is getting attacked by an alien and we got to save Earth because like, and that was, that was a nice moment. And then it divided into politics and all of that stuff, fine, whatever. But at least for a split second, we felt we were all unified as one human family. And that's how it should be. Isn't that insane? But I think, I mean, the whole world is driven by envy anyways. And all of these ideologies that shove hek or shove hek, it's like, what are they doing? And no, مش محرزة. But some other thing is, if you if you put a lot of ideology in whatever direction, too much of that, you're going to get really bad brains, and bad brains lead to a lot of bad decisions, and and you see what happens. Ah, مو محرزة. إديش الحياة مش محرزة إنه الواحد يكون عنده حقد ويكون بهيد الباد كومبيتيشن انه الكومبيتيشن الايجابيه قديش حلوه قديش الباد كومبيتيشن والاذى واليوم اللي عم نشوفه كثير كمان انا بلاحظ انه عم القيم بالحياه عم تتغير يعني انه صار في كثير انه الواحد يكون اناني تو بي سيلفش صار في كثير انه الواحد انه لا مهم بس حاله ويتش از اوكي يو تيك كير اوف يور سيلف يو انه يو كم ميبي يو كم فيرست في ناس بتعتبر هيك في ناس ما بتعتبر انه هو بيمرق قبل الثاني بس انه قديش في اليوم بتحس انه العالم عم بيتغير والجنريشنز عم بتتغير؟ Yeah, I agree, I agree, but I think you gotta be, you gotta pick, you gotta, you gotta hand pick the people you want to surround yourself with. You want to be with people that are better than you, smarter than you, more intelligent. Than, no, that's how we're gonna, and surround yourself with a lot of good books and biographies because you're gonna learn so much, you know, from, from the dead. You read books. Yeah, yeah, I'm, right. I'm usually. You like, have your Kindle. With I your always mother. have my Kindle. It's like, yeah, if I'm, I'm way. You're always reading. Because you, we really just from bios. It's like, but then we're not going with. It's like learn from. <laughs> what <laughs> others <laughs> you, <laughs> Definitely, and and it's an amazing thing because, and anybody that achieved anything, they're just 
ferocious readers. You just keep reading. Queen Elizabeth. Yes. Nelson Mandela. Yes. مين عزف الديمون؟ مش أنا. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's a. Uh, it was great. It was a great honor. عزف الديمون. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Dalai Lama came on. He gave me a big, big hug. I played for him in San Francisco. It's nice. It's uh, it's nice. It's a good. Is it a different yeah. feeling to play music in front of well-known people as a queen, as a personality like Nelson Mandela no, no. or the Dalai Lama? No, no, it's are the same. The artist, خلاص, you forget yourself in, uh, when you are on scene and you're playing, and that's. Well, at the end of the day, we're all humans. We're all the same. And, and my job is like, you know, I don't see titles or whoever. For me, it's all the same. It's like, my job is to communicate the emotion, right? It's like, it's like you're playing for like a child or... And that's the fun part because it's that kind of like this childlike innocence that art brings out of us. And isn't like the, with Picasso, it's like the whole thing is like a journey back to childhood. So it's almost like after you're an adult, like your job is actually become a child so you can actually become a good artist. Then with art, with kids, we just play. You just you just play, right? You're not inhibited. And I think more and more in life, you want to get away from the inhibition, from the restrictions, from the moral code. I mean, from the societal, you know, the code of society, right? Um, and that's art, and that's what we respond to. So yeah, honestly, it's like if, whether it's whoever. I mean, at the end of it, we're all humans. You just want to have a little bit of fun. كيف بتنقي الاسامي الموسيقى؟ That's a good one. It's usually people that inspired me. Yeah, or or when I was younger, I, Zena I, I, is your sister. Zena, Zena, yeah, Zena is my sister. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's fun, very bright girl. Um, yeah, whatever. Noor, inspired me. the queen, or no? No, no, Noor. Actually, it's a, the, the Turkish, the Turkish drama. Okay, okay, Turkish drama true, thing. Mazbut. What's the next name? I um, I I don't know. <laughs> I don't know yet. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. No plans. No future plans. No next uh, composition soon. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm working. I'm working on a bunch of stuff. That's kind of like new arrangements of classic songs or like you know classic love songs or whatever. Then we're working on a project for the U.S. But then we're working on some shows down in Brazil, Rio, São Paulo, and going up to Canada. But probably we're going to do London and Paris. So the program is going to be a bit different. So we're focusing more on, on that kind of like the performance, the performance, and even the content that you play because you want to play a lot of like these kind of like covers that people already know. It's like I did in Lebanon, like yeah, Beirut, just yeah. the dunya, yeah. Um, so we're working on picking more of those than writing my own stuff. Why? Well, because here's the thing: like what I write by nature, I write a, it's the stuff like Zena, like Haya, right? Which is kind of like you know, which you guys love and I love, Lirbina Ali. But at the end of the day, I mean, you're not going to play that in Cincinnati, Ohio, right? I mean, you're not. You're going to play stuff that people also would relate to and enjoy. So it's like these kind of global me- melodies that I could play again with my touch and me transmitting that feeling. And then when the content command you choose is extremely important. Just to give a touch of where you know of the region, but that's about it. The content is so important. What you choose. Mm-hmm. But there's no idea for you. Hala, you don't know. For me to write my songs. Yeah. No, Naila, because the market is limited. Because I'm the one who wrote it naturally. The one who wrote it. There's no two markets. I mean, see what I mean? We're in love with it. We're in love with it. But but if you have international plans, I mean. What are you going to do with it? Mahdoudi. But it's definitely like, مثلا, like a new version of like, you know, can't help falling in love or like, you know, you know. Uh, and any of these, you know, I will always love you, you know. It's like, I mean, that stuff, the whole world knows. I well, know I'm blessed and I love it. Well, I deliver it. You know, people respond to it. مثلا, like my biggest following is Arbil Barazil. See what I mean? And they respond to it and they love it. And I love it. So it's, again, it's not like I'm acting. It's stuff that I genuinely love. 
Fabarki, like, yeah, maybe like for when I play Lebanon again, we'll write something special for that occasion. Oh my God, that's yeah, it's a love story. Well, even after the Fourth of August, if your your song went viral and uh, your song, you know, yeah, Beirut, yeah, Beirut from yeah. No, no, yeah, played the, by you went viral. So should should he get the edge? Let you get to know about Sometimes I ask myself, you know, I'm here, 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 i am here 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 i am it's the people. It's genuinely the people. You, you, you know, nas mabsuta. They, they're very strong, very resilient. When I was real, man, I always felt that. Even before, you know, I've had this connection. Oh, I always had this little tiny. Shuli jebak alibnin. Well, before that, I, I always had this l- tiny, tiny poetry book by Nizar Qabbani. It's more. Sabi al rasail da, sabi al rasail Beirut. It's a stunning little book. Um, I always had it on my na- nightstand because it was always a symbol of stand of strength. I know again, especially as you grow up, you need something to look up to, to. You know that you're like, yeah, like if they're that strong, then I can be that strong. And or he's, that's why I believe in energy because this started when I was 16, 17, and and Majda played a huge role for me in that because you know she was always this very elegant voice model. You know, we want peace. We want people to get together. You know, she was very close to Jordan. I mean, frankly, you know, to be now imagine that. that was like, yeah, I, I get that. So that's a really big role model influence for me. And I guess it was always very honest, my love for Lebanon and what it stands for. But subhanAllah, how the things started and the life started, and then we developed this amazing bond. Well, I just, I honestly, I just wouldn't want, I genuinely wouldn't want to leave. Like, I feel like it's like we look like each other. It's, it's incredible. You were talking, no, we have to be strong and the strength in life. How do you define strength in life? You keep moving forward in a rational manner. Yani, even no matter what, tra- I mean, and you know better than anybody. We keep moving. Yeah, strategy strikes, and it's terrible. We remember those, you know, we remember them in our hearts, in our work, in our legacy, in their legacy. We keep their legacy alive. We keep moving. Then, if you don't stop, you don't stop. So what kind of message is that? But it's a to honor those that came before you. At least they stood for something. They would be, they'd be ashamed of us if we stop, right? You, you, you do not stop. Life keeps moving on. And yes, tragedy strikes and it sucks and it's terrible. But tomorrow is better and we do it for our children, for the continuity of the human race. Because that's why we're here to do. That's our calling. We bring people together. It's love. It's unity. It's progress. Nice. Uh, I always ask this question. Uh, and I wouldn't know what that question means. With sugar or without sugar? Oh, no, without. Without. Yeah. And for you, life is a tough one? No, I went. Oh, hello. I'm so sorry, I mean, no, no, it's not. I mean, because I choose for it not to be. Oh, come on, again, it's about choices, Naila. It's about choices. You make your own choices, how you want to live your life. How do you want to live your life? There's no one in your life, in your life, in your life, in your life, in your life. And of course, you have loss, and you have. It's uh, life. Is, it's 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 our habits, and it's our mental modes that we practice day in and day out. So you train yourself. يعني إذا في تخبيص بالحياة أو إذا في كتير منيح كل يوم بدك ترجع إلى للبالانس more or less. بس في شيء بحياتك خليك تعمل هذا turn. I think seeing a lot of idiocy around me, it's like yeah, I don't want to be like them. <laughs> well, it's like but you see something you don't like. Well, that's what I, I don't want to act like that. So I don't want to be like that. And then you see other people, they act in a rational, sane way. It's like, yeah, I want to be like these guys. Well, just model after them. It's really very simple. When I was little, I had a bad temper. But that's a terrible. Who wants to live with a bad temper? 
<laughs> it's me. No, no, that's terrible. I'm, I'm happy we, we, we got rid of that real quick. You don't want to have a bad temper. Um, I mean, she me idiocy, honestly, like idiocy and closed mindedness. But then you choose not to associate with these people, anyways. Then you know, if you argue with an idiot, it will make two. I, any. Hello, hey, by the way, I have to keep it in mind. <laughs> yeah, by the way. yeah, it will cut off a lot. It will Oof, buy a lot of peace of mind. It helps a lot, huh? A lot of peace of mind. Yeah. So you catch yourself. Like if I'm gonna la launch into somebody, right? Well, remember. <laughs> remember. <laughs> yeah. أسست زيد للسلام والتفاهم العالمي. Yeah. هاي خبرني uh, يلي بتح بت بتسعى إنه تكون عم بتساعد الشباب. Definitely. المسئين. Yes. Okay. What's the idea behind it? So we started this program a while back in the U.S. We did this wonderful project called the World the Roads to You Tour, which had musicians from like 35 different countries, including war-torn regions. We selected them based on their musical excellence. Or leadership potential, and from the perspective that musicians can be leaders in their communities, etc. And it started as a really lovely tour, a platform for dialogue, performances in the communities, you know, churches, houses of worship, concerts. It was really nice to see these kids coming together. But then after that, we we did the uh, the Jordanian Musicians Fund. So like whenever I play a show there, we try and allocate money to like fun scholarships for deserving young musicians. And you try what you can, whatever you can. And that's the idea of it. It's like you know, just something to, you know, to keep coming, you know, giving back. But not necessarily for like one country. It's got to be, you know, it's like, we, it's for everybody. Any project in the Arab world? Today, the في بيحبوا الموسيقى بيحبوا الاغاني بيحبوا بس دو يو فيل انه وي هاف ا لوت اوف نيو ميوزيشنز ويز باشن وممكن يطلعوا نيو ارتست تالنتس او التالنتس عم بخفوا بالعالم وبالمنطقه مش جاست اي ثينك اي ثينك ذا تالنت از ذير اي جاست ثينك ذا ذا استيتيك ذا ذا سونيكلي از ديفرنت ذان بروبلي وات اي وود تشوز اي مين بيكوز مثلا انا اي لاف ميلودي ام دريفن فيري ماتش باي ميلودي بس هلا مثلا اف يو لوك تو لايك ليسن تو لايك a track that's you know a rap track or like you know urban it's different it's a different style so the talent is there but maybe it's not what we're used to but i guess it's more democratic isn't it because everybody can put a song everybody has a chance to be famous maybe for like 10 minutes it doesn't matter but like with tiktok and instagram and stuff i think it's more democratic but actually for you to break through the noise and actually sell concert tickets that's a lot more difficult yeah. just because It's like Thassa Udaya. It's like, where would you start? It's insane. How do you, how could you, in the 90s, for example, most likely, I'm going to bring you the same song. 100%. I'm not going to bring you the radio, MT, like, you know, radio yeah. TV. Music TV. Uh, it's like, if you have Spotify, or you have the local content, or people love their local content, but the local content is not going to cross over to other territories. See what I mean? It's a, it's a whole different vibe. So that's why we go back to the content you choose. If you want to cross over territories, you kind of need to choose wisely to make sure you can actually cross. So it's a big playing? challenge. Hey, it's fun. And you come on with the It's a challenge. No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> it's how you look at it. I mean, you know, we're here to build something, right? We want to build something fun. And, Big. And as a fear to UNICEF. Yeah. Yeah. I'm coming. 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 You're fine, you're awesome. <laughs> yep. Okay. Liam, uh, خبرني عن المشن. And what do you want to give back? Through through UNICEF, through my work with UNICEF. Well, there's a lot of. They really do a good job. I mean, I think UNICEF it's it's safeguarding the children, right? It's like suffering children from all over the world, from all over the world. And it's really sad, I mean, just because here, life is not fair. I mean, let's face it, life is not fair. And I think we should be, prog that should be programmed into the 
from childhood. It just isn't fair. It's just what it is, right? I mean, well, thank God for the privileges we have, right? And if we could spread a little bit of cheer and, and talk on behalf of the marginalized, it's a really, it's a good idea. It's a good thing. And we need, and we need more of that. And that's why I, I like UNICEF and I like the work we've done together. And um, in, the refugees camp, in the refugees camps in Jordan, we started a music therapy program. We don't even like to call it therapy, really. But so you see a lot of these traumatized kids coming from, like, you know, from, from you know, war-torn areas, right? It's like really just a lot of a lot of sadness accumulates on me. And then later, through the program, they start to shift the colors to like I can't say any colors now because they would have significance given that we're in Lebanon, but um, they, the colors would turn pink. Nobody here is pink, right? No. All the colors become pink. Yeah. So this is the the message we were talking about before about the therapy and music yeah. and the importance of music in life and it's a big mission. No, 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 no. It's it's art. Again, art, art. It's hope. It's beauty. It's continuity. It's the rise of the human spirit. I mean. شو نصيحتك لك اليوم ل ل ل ل لليوم للنيو جينيريشن إذا بدهم يفوتوا بهاي الطريقة اللي هي الأرت والموسيقى Oh, like my, like my niece, Aisha. Like, she's like, <laughs> she wants to be a singer. I think we we're going to take her to Taylor Swift in the summer. I mean, just be honest. Like, I tell any kid, like, well, I tell Aisha, if you're honest, it's like, do you really want to do this? Like, yeah, I want to do this. Like, all right, fine. Like, write songs and put them out there. But just be honest. And don't do it for the money and the fame and all of that. Do it if you do something good. If you're doing something that's not good, that's not going to happen. But do it because you love it. Honestly, it's love. I mean, look, it's what you do. Why do you do it? Why are you continuing this mission? It's because you love it. And here, yeah, that's the greatest blessing. It's to find, I think, the key, if you're lucky enough to find what you're passionate about early in life, whatever that might be, then you're on a roll. But don't settle before you find what you really like. Because then, you know, it gets tough, right? And following your dream or whatever that is. It gets really tough sometimes, right? I mean, talking about the challenges. But you have to be like predisposed that, yeah, of course it's going to get tough. Then if it wasn't tough, then everybody else would do it. Or well, sometimes, frankly, just because, I mean, I am extremely um, tenacious. It's like, it's like a bulldog. I just don't stop. It's like until we get there and then we just move to the next pole. So if a kid finds something they love, really love it. Well, yeah, frankly... With kids, is a bilau shi that they're passionate about between the age of 12 and 18, and they're really good at it. Probably they'll be good at that thing for the rest of their lives. Stick to them. What are your dreams and uh, wishes? Oh, I want to keep building what I'm doing, playing the piano, hopefully spreading you know some love and and, and joy, and honestly, and inspiring people to do what I'm doing because others inspired me. And that's it. It's nothing grandiose, genuinely, and it's nothing fancy. I love my life how it is. You know, it's super simple. Uh, you know, it's very simple. And that, that's what it is. Keep building the machine. I'm having the time of my life. You're, I mean, it's awesome. Collaborations with new with with artists. We're with talking about many. We're people. talking about many, many, uh, many different ideas. But in mean, Hada, we're really focusing more on like the concerts, Zay. performances. Well, yeah, but like my my thing. Like we're talking about like filming a couple of new music videos. Like really, really cool ideas. Um, يعني, you know, هيك هيك شغلات, yeah. ما عندك حلم هيك ت ت تكون مع حدا على المسرح. When I was when I was younger, بس مو هلا. The reason being, let me tell you why. Just because when you're the pianist, like you want to just stick to the piano. I mean, because if people want to listen to me doing vocal songs, and they people come to listen to me because they want to hear piano. They don't want to hear me. And it's a novelty. So I'm on the for example, with Artist X. Yeah, it's lovely and it's a fantastic thing, right? But people come to you not to listen to vocal music. They come to you to listen to piano. And that's something I learned. You know what I mean? So just like keep focusing on what you're doing bit by bit. That's, that's what I want to do. How is your routine? Very good question. Yeah. I get up at 5.30. A.M. A.M. And then usually... I'm reading or writing for like 45 minutes, an hour. But then I work out. Writing music or writing? No, 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 writing my thoughts. Ah. It's amazing. People don't think 
you realize like people, they don't have time to think. I mean, even back in the U.S., everybody is so busy. You don't, I mean, people don't just pause and just allocate a lot of time to think. They do a lot. A lot of it is probably useless. But you don't, people don't think. You need time to just organize your thoughts. What are we doing? Where, is it, where are we heading? Well, progress, even if we do like one millimeter of progress a day, that's amazing. That's an accomplishment. accomplishment. So I say I read, I write for like, you know, 45 minutes an hour. Then I walk for another 45 minutes. I do cardio, grab coffee. I read some more. You listen to music or to? Either, either music or sometimes nothing because I'm going over some ideas. I, I brainstorm my ideas a lot when I walk. Then you go, you read some more, get coffee. Back, I have my omelet. Every day it's exactly the same omelet. Very, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> she's like, bored. yeah, she's like, this is terrorizing. <laughs> and then I practice scales for an hour, best scales. And then whatever new music I'm working on, that's another hour to two hours. And then Ghada. Don't, then, don't tell me it's the same lunch every day. I prefer the same lunch every day. They, <laughs> wouldn't, <laughs> let me. they wouldn't let me. It's usually protein and salad. And then I nap for an hour. I have to stay. No, nothing is ever scheduled. I don't care who it is. I should have scheduled the podcast at three. Hey, it's important. Can you listen to at three when the podcast <laughs> Yeah, For you, I would have made an exception. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> But then after a nap, you know, if, if I'm in Amman, like, you know, I hang out with, you know, with the family, you know. And then I do nothing until like eight o'clock. I just like, you know, maybe go meet my friend, go for a long walk, you know. Usually, but in America, if we have conference calls, it's like usually off to bed. But said, oh, I hate meetings. I genuinely hate meetings just because I think, I mean, I know it's I mean, I'm telephone, I'm telling you. Or WhatsApp. But you have a time to get up, and you have a meeting, 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 <laughs> I hope one day I will be like you. No, oh, well, yeah, but you're better than me. You're better than me. No, to have this state of mind and this, uh, you know, the routine is really important in life with a state of mind with a lot of positive, positive vibes to work on, on yourself. It's important in life. No? On your stuff, like you're, you know, when you're writing a book, Masan, and I'm sure, like when you dedicate time for that, that's exactly what you're going to be doing. Will you write a book one day? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, definitely. Yeah, but it's not that. You talked about the book, you talked about the music, you talked about the sports. I bored you enough. <laughs> <laughs> you and the technology. Yeah. Technology. Well, yes. With the AI, with all those new technology. معقول يصيروا يدقوا محلك تشوف بس ايديك مثلا هولوجرام 3D whatever I think I think I hope I mean I don't know how it's going to be No 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 I hope I hope there'll still be need for the human ah, human okay. interaction we need we need that because I think that's one thing about live like although like the music business said it's all broken you know there is no music business frankly nobody makes any money and it's broken it won't be fixed but at least live in a live the figures keep going up because people They love coming together and sharing. It's the act of sharing. When, when you're on stage, they love their favorite artists. They're communicating with them. So I think as long as we identify as humans, we're going to still need our human artists. If we start to, if, if we start to identify as, a, as an AI morphing into an AI new thing, then probably our art is going to start to resemble us. But I don't know if I'll be alive during that, so I'm not going to worry about it now. But hello, during this lifetime, yeah, I think I'm going to stay human, performing to humans, which is great. Human AI took a little bit of a place. It's starting, yeah, it's starting to take over. It's starting to take over and do it, even to continue, uh, uh, to continue, um, uh, to continue a music, if someone stopped, stopped a musician, it was maybe Beethoven or Mozart, you have the AI that continued the piece. But not live. Yeah, not live, I'm saying. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, yeah, fine, yeah, no, definitely. So, no, that's what it's, you mean. You know, that the AI takes the music. I mean, we're seeing it now. We're seeing it now. I mean, but even look now, like how people write music, for example, back in LA. It's like you have like, it's, it's a beat. It's an attitude. It's a, 
it's not even writing music. I mean, it's it's a different it's a different mentality. So I guess that's part of the evolution of life. But I think a great melody coming from a human, I think, will always have its space. I know there's an honesty in the melody that I don't think is replicable with machine. Or maybe there is. Frankly, I don't know. I don't know. But live, getting on stage, I think that's going to remain human for quite some time. But I know there are concerts with holograms. Young generation. I know, but it's young not. generation full concert with the. Uh, Hologram. Uh, oh, I saw some of them. My friends, my friends out in Las Vegas, they produced the Whitney Houston hologram show. No, I yeah, uh, it's there. But I think it's a. It's a different feeling. Yeah, yeah. And you come on, you know, you you know what you're saying is not real. And I think the fact that you actually know it doesn't matter how much you try to trick your brain. The human like, relation is different. But you still right. I mean, she's not like, like Whitney is not is not gonna tell me how are you guys doing tonight? Isn't the weather amazing? Didn't you guys go to the beach? She's not gonna tell me that because she's pre- it, You know what I'm saying. Yeah. We're still humans. True. Chat GPT. Yes. You like? My new best friend, yes. Oh, oh yeah, I bring, I, yeah, I called mine Nancy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, she's my best friend now. Why Nancy? If, because if nobody, <laughs> I made it up. <laughs> because if nobody wants to brain with me late at night, why do I want to shoot around the ideas? Everybody is sick of me because as you can see, I can talk a lot. Um, at least I have her or she, you know, she wouldn't get sick of me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's actually, it gets a bit too old and predictable and that I don't like. It's not that innovative. And Jed? I think so. It's like because I, we tried to solve tricky puzzles and she's giving me stuff I already know. Yeah. It's like, tell me something new. Tell me something new. I'm serious. But then he, by the way, in, in uh, 2021. That's good. Hey. But she's a bit limited. She's going to ask you a question. No, you did? <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's see. Now, in Arabic, I will help you in case. Does she speak Arabic? Yeah. She does? Yes, she does. Well, of course. I mean, yeah, she's super Nancy. What do you expect? <laughs> كيف تقيم التطورات في صناعة الموسيقى الرقمية وكيف تستفيد منها في إبداع أعمالك؟ هلا أحكينا عن التطور التكنولوجي والموسيقى with the music and the, uh, the, the new technology and music and with the AI. So you answered before. Uh, right, right. Like, yeah, they could take over very, you know, and, and it could sound very convincing. Yeah, very convincing. كيف يمكن الموسيقى أن تلعب دور في تعزيز التركيز وزيادة الإنتاجية؟ How, you know, دور to focus on the focus and to produce more. I think instrumental music especially, it helps you focus, it helps you hone in. And I think that's an added bonus to instrumental versus vocal music. For me, I can't. And for me, I can't listen to any music if I'm working. I get easily distracted. And my brain goes with what's happening on the track. Mm-hmm. So I guess it works for other people. هل تؤمن بأن للموسيقى تأثيرا على الصحة النفسية وكيف ترى هذا التأثير؟ Yes, I mean, uh, it could go in both directions. It could be good or it could be bad. If you listen to a lot of sad rap songs, that's really not good. Although I read a recent study, you know, actually, listening to some sad music does make you feel better afterwards. It's a good outlet. So, but again, it's a fine line. How, how much you want to push and, and whatever. Um, yeah, I agree. Music has a huge role on, on psychology, on mental health. Mental health is so important. Yeah. Yeah. It has a it has a huge effect. You work on your mental health, and that's why you read a lot to stay sane. I mean, you know, it's like you, you just. It's all connected, man. And your habits are gonna drive your mental health. And if you like, the software has to be maintained on daily basis because your habits are gonna form you. You know, the habits are gonna start. You're not gonna feel it at the beginning, but once the habit is formed, then you know. It's a chain that's binding. You got to be really careful. Yeah, it's really important. Mm. Uh, and I don't have it. I have to work on it. أنجح مشروع موسيقى قمت به. هذا classical question. Yeah, أنجح. There are. I I don't compare them. I mean, you know, there. Each of them, they have their own thing. I mean, because I could tell you the one with Clayderman was amazing, or I could tell you the one at the casino. These, they, what we just played at the casino was incredible, which it was. They're, they're all lovely in their own way, and they're all learning experiences. And sometimes you make mistakes, and you learn, and no problem. Yeah, that's the other thing, Kaman. You want to have the buffers, you know, emotionally and financially, to be honest with you. And you, know, uh, you make mistakes, and Adi, you bounce back, no problem. That's why you got to be, you know, you gotta choose right, and you gotta be careful with, like, you know, with the way you run your your work. 
بتسألك كيف نجحت في إدارة العلاقات العامة والترويج لنفسك وفنك؟ أخبرنا عن استراتيجيتك. هلا أنت كنت عم تحكي شوي عن موضوع قبل. I'm so sorry إنه أكتريته حكيته بالإنجليزي. No, it's okay. I, I, I believe I am blessed that I like both of them. I like the enterprising yeah. marketing you said and I like music. And how I did it, I think it's organically. I think uh, if you're honest on that, here it starts with the piano, to be honest with you. If people didn't like how I play, we wouldn't be here today. If they didn't feel what I'm feeling. Uh, he, honestly, it's so, it's so funny. It really it goes back to what... If you want to do it, for example, if you listen to Firuz, Ati, or like Majda, you know, I don't know what the song is, I don't know what the song is. I'm going to sing it, and it's nice, and it's nice. Okay, this is important. It really doesn't need much. It needs... In terms of marketing, but it's like kind of education. You can tell the world that it exists. And if it's nice, the world is finished. The world is finished. It's not a lot of art. 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 But they know that you exist. And most likely, if they love this other stuff, and this is the same thing, they're going to be part of your family. It's a lot of art. Again, that's why I come back. Why do I love Lebanon? Because it's the same aesthetic. What we find pretty, we both agree on. True. You bet. Oh yeah, I love this guy. Generally. Yeah, yeah. I worked hard and and uh, yeah, and I and I and I hope I am rational enough. You know, and I have good friends, and I love my family. Yeah, and I'm and I'm happy. Being grateful. Extremely grateful. Extremely grateful, and and yeah, yeah. Just have the have the right role models. You're you're gonna be good. You're, you know, you're gonna be good. Be balanced. You know, don't be driven in directions. Your life is good. The moment has it. Awesh, thank you. وناطرتك سون مرة تانية مع نيو بيرفورمنس بلبنان. God willing, yes. إن شاء الله بال summer festivals. I hope so. I hope so. I hope so. Thank you, Naila. إذا اليوم هلا بطلب منك أكيد على التليفون شيل الموسيقى تبعيتك، إذا بدك تختتم بأي موسيقى رح تحط لي. من أغنية أنا؟ يلي بدك إيه. هلا اليوم إذا كيف بدنا نختم هلا؟ أفهم إنه نحط زينة. يلا رح أحط لك إياها نحن عم ننهي لأنه لقيت لك إياها. Oh, there you go. But now we're going to get a new one. We're going to get a new one. By the way, I found Shuli Biam like emotional in life. It's your music. Because it's very honest. It's kind of like, you're like, yeah. Yeah, you feel very fragile. Yeah, yeah, very fragile. Right. That's good. That was really good. You got me. You really got me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel very exposed. Thank you.